I haven't been this excited for trading for a very long time and in this video I'll show you exactly why, step by step, how it all works out. So last week I had a cool idea about a way to look at exits that will make a bit more sense for my trading style. I've been kind of not struggling but having a bit of a hard time with exits for a while because we never know when the market will go back, when the market will reverse. For a long time I've used these profit target based on reward to risk like a 2 to 1, a 3 to 1 and these kind of yeah they make sense but you never know how far the market will go so I want to find a way to more dynamically adjust to the market and really exit or at least take part of my trade off when the market reverses kind of being more in tune with the market context and the price action too at the same time. So I looked at the few indicators I'm using on my trading. I'm using a whole moving average, which works pretty well for me, especially for trend following in stocks and ETF. So my idea was, you know, I have a whole moving average on my chart here. It's going from green to red and so on. I have these set up on the chart. It's all good, but what if you could find a way to exit the trade when price is getting far from the hole? We know if price is getting far away from the whole moving average, this average over here, that it's probably gonna be an extreme level. But how do you measure that? Well, you can look at the chart. You can say, okay, here it's pretty low. We should be the, maybe kind of considering buying here, closing our sell trade. Okay, here's pretty high. You should be trying to sell here. Here we're getting pretty high. It's just kind of hard to see. Like you cannot just look at the chart and, and decide when to exit. So I went to actually, I went to chat GPT out of all things to find a way to code this, find a way to make this into an indicator I could use in my chart and that could alert me of levels. I thought it was something really complicated to put at the bottom of the chart. It kind of worked out. I could have these uh, exits here, but it didn't really make sense to me too much to have exit at the bottom of the chart. I want to have a way that I can just kind of write on the chart, have these setups, these alerts, and get out of the trade. So here we go. I'm going to turn this on over here. Here's what I came up with with this uh, chat GPT. So it's basically a distance of the whole moving average. So when we're over here, uh, by the way, I have these setups, which I'm going to go over in a minute, but the red setups mean you should sell. So you should close part of your bullish trades. You can see they're kind of based on the trend. So you won't tell me to buy uh, over here when you're on the uptrend. It's based on the trend filter. So here it's saying, well, when price gets here, like even over here, it's an extreme point. We're getting far from the hole, so we should consider selling. You can sell part of your trade a little bit over here. Then it goes even here. You can sell a little bit more. As price goes, and then it comes back down, of course, then you could go long again. Like we can see over here, okay, here we're getting to pretty high. We don't have an exit parameter, but we do have the hole changing color. So when the hole changes color, I have these orange dots over here. You can see it's orange. Saying, okay, now we should get out of the trade completely, right? Because the hole turned to a different color. Again, over here, if you had any sell trade going on, then the hole turns back to green. We should get out of all the sell trades in case we didn't have anything in that, in that particular moment. But if you have any trade going on, we should get out. And once again, we can go and kind of trade this. So of course you go and enter a long trade over here, or this could be a setup on a bigger time frame too. When price gets over here, maybe it's time to sell some of, of that setup. You could try to get a partial out of that trade, right? And so on. So really Apple's been choppy for the past few weeks, but on stocks that are more trending, it does a really good job. For example, over here, got a trade right somewhere here below. I believe there was a weekly chart trade and then price goes up, goes up. Okay, here we are changing the hole, so that's good. Uh, but then over here, we get to an extreme point. You can see where all this we hold it, the indicator thought we didn't go to extreme points, then all the way to here, right? Extreme point, we have the, we have the little red dot. So it means you should sell part of our trade. Comes back down, pulls back. Okay, now we turn to a different hole color and so on. And we do this on the weekly chart. This is amazing stuff. Trade over here. Price goes up in our favor. Now, when do we get out? When do we start to take profit? Well, over here, right, red dot. Then it goes above and beyond more. Okay, here we can take some more profit. Well, here maybe we take some profit or we just can't leave it because you just took some profits right there. Then we have a setup over here. Why do we take some profit? Well, when this turns to be a red dot at the top. Now, we're still in a good trade. We didn't really do much on that. Uh, I'm keeping the trade longer, by the way, based on the uh, lower indicator over here. So this is more my trend market context filter. Uh, this is just like a a hole that based on that's based on the chart. So this one kind of keeps me into trade longer than this hole in the chart. So I allow myself to get part of the trade off when the hole turns red and keep another part until the bigger time frame hole here is still green. So that's kind of how it works out. I mean, this is really cool stuff because then you're able to really get better exits and know exactly when you should get out and when you should get in. Uh, it's not by the way fixed here because I'm on the wrong chart. Let's just have a look. Here's what it looks like on the weekly chart correctly. I right? took a trade over here. We don't have any exit sign yet. 
but we are able to know when to get out or when to take some profits off. Another good example here, you take a buy trade right over here, nice setup, or even over here. When do you get out of that trade? Well, you don't really know how far it goes. You could, of course, keep it for the long term. You could invest, try to hold the trade longer. But here we have three dots, one, two, three. You could get out the first dot. To me, that makes kind of sense, take some profit there. Or you could let it run, say, like, if you have two dots, I'll get out, or three dots, I'll get out, and kind of treat it that way. Now, I don't want to just go and, and talk about this indicator over the whole video. That's not really the point here. The point is to show you that trading has come to a point where anyone can code indicators. Now, you can just go to ChatGPT, you tell it what you want, and then from there, it's just kind of giving you the whole code, then you kind of tweak it and go from there. And this is really, really easy stuff. You can see I went back and forth a couple of times on this one, but originally it was just a simple, simple text that I told it uh, that I want to have an indicator that's going to look like an RSI, giving me extreme values, and dynamically update based on the whole moving average, based on how far we are from the, the whole. And that stuff is really easy. Occasionally, it's going to come up with some errors when you put it to trading view. So you just have to go back and say, okay, here's an error. I've seen this. This doesn't work. Uh, fix this one. And that stuff is just taken care of automatically. So then you can add some colors, some different features. And I mean, this is just kind of cool. If I wanted to, I could go back and even test this stuff on TradingView. I actually run a back test, either automatically if I put it into a strategy or by having me go back on the chart and look at the setups and look at the exits and find out what makes more sense. But this is just kind of cool stuff that you are able to code by yourself now. You don't have to go and wait for someone to create the indicator for you. If you have an idea, you can just code it, test it out right away, uh, all for free because ChatGPT is pretty much free at this point. So I'm using a paid version, but I have no doubt you could do this with a free version with no issue at all. So. Really the key is to try something out and then you tweak it as you go and you keep adding stuff and keep telling ChatGPT how you want it and do other stuff. I mean, I'm really excited for the future because one, this is a way where you can turn popular tools into really advanced indicators. Like you could take an RSI, add some things you like, take out some things you don't like, make it work for you. And really make this simple tool that everyone kind of overlooks into a powerful tool that only you can know how to use. And that can give you a really big edge for your trading. It also means that coding now is not just for nerds, sorry guys who work as programmers, or the guys who are kind of programming for a living. You're able to stay at home, have a few ideas about the market, a few observations you have over the years, a few observations you have over the years, and have ChatGPT code this stuff for you. And I think the most powerful thing here is you can actually make tools that help you stick to your rules. Because how many times did I not get out when we had this hole turns to red? Because I just didn't see it, I was busy or something. Now I have a dot in my chart. I can even make this bigger, I can make it a whole big line if I want to, just to kind of have it in my face when the hole changes color. This will help me stick to my rules because sometimes it's just a, not a matter of discipline, but more a matter of why well, you didn't see it or you were busy or you didn't kind of look at the chart more carefully. Having these things, even if you could do it manually and look at the price and look at the highs and lows, sure, like it's cool stuff, but what if you could have something to point it out for you and make it easier for you to see it? And that's why indicators are making a lot of sense. It's based on price action, based on the hull. It's something that makes sense logically. You just are not able to see it always manually or not able to have it in your face manually all the time. And having this tool coded for you to see the trades better is a huge game changer for people. So I know that everyone likes ChatGPT. I mean, some people are pissed off about it. They don't want to use AI, they're against it and whatever. That's cool. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. But if you can actually use it to become better and to turn things that will help you get an edge in the market, why wouldn't you use it? Why wouldn't you take advantage of that stuff? Why would you learn how to do it? I'm definitely going to explore more on that in the future. I'm not an expert at AI or ChatGPT at all. I'm just here to kind of share what I've done and I think it's pretty cool, so I'm going to share it with people, and hopefully you get some value out of it. If you want to see more videos on this, on AI and, and, and how you can use it to improve your trading, let me know in the comment section below, uh, comment below with AI, and I'll know you want to see more videos on that stuff. I'll keep exploring, keep doing more stuff on that. So leave your comments below. Here's a video on the screen you think you would like next, and I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.